Welcome to the OSLINC demonstration on batch address validation. The easiest way to demonstrate batch address validation would be to click on the setup option and then address validation and then click the button called batch processing sample. With this sample spreadsheet, you can simply click the add-ins tab and then click send to UPS. You'll notice on line three, the status is ambiguous and UPS has a reply suggesting one Microsoft way. We had changed this address to one micro way so that it would fail to show you the results coming back from UPS. It's important to point out that the suggestions on the right hand side starting with column G are merely that. They're suggestions coming from UPS about the address that you had sent in. The user will need to make a determination if the suggestion is accurate. It's important to point out that the status column, in this case column G, is referring to the addresses on the right hand side, not the addresses sent in on the left hand side. So for example, line four, UPS is saying that 2200 Mission College Boulevard is a valid address. Users of this batch process should step through each row and evaluate the suggestions coming back from UPS to determine if the suggestion is accurate or not. For more information on Auslink, please visit www.ausdevelopment.com.